far as it's going to get. Uh, I'm satisfied that we have done, the debate has been good, not in this chamber, but elsewhere. Response times have improved. I think from what I've learned on this fact-finding commission, and I still don't know why I'm coming, all right? Uh, but I think there has been much good that has come this far. But I, I've learned over the years, you've got to let things have their time, okay? This issue needs, and I think somewhere in my head, Mr. Manning, I have the idea that there's a two-year, is that because uh, petitions have a two-year binding? Is that it? It's not in the language. How does that two-year thing Wisconsin Statute 9120 requires that if it is adopted by the council or adopted through a ballot measure election, then it is binding for two years, subject only to a another. Okay. So yeah, I'm happy with that. This this issue will probably go on for 10, 12 years, but it's just gone as far as it's going to go, in my opinion. From here on in. Either side is just using muscle. And there's no, um, there's no advancement of, of either side's uh, intellectual proposition. Uh, but the reason I want to see is I want to see us take a vote. We are council. We are in theory the civic leaders, and somewhere here with every one of our constituents a vote saying how we feel on this issue. I never thought I would vote this before, but it is a vote of conscience, and I think that's where you are. Okay, the next council member of the fourth district, you wish to speak in your car to help you for the motion. I, I was wishing to speak on the original uh, motion, so I'd like to be put on hold for that. But I, I would say I don't believe that these two issues can be continued separately. I would remind members that if you vote to adopt, you would say that you're voting to vote. So I would put it out. Next is the House from the 6th District, President Hart. Thank you. I'll take the, the turn of this now. Um, I would agree with Mr. Farmer to vote to adopt this legislation. I want to thank Tri-State here tonight because something's got lost in the whole shuffle of this issue in the politics. Medical service and quality and saving lives. Mr. Bladorn said it fairly eloquently to it. I think uh, if things have improved. There is dialogue here. Uh, the fact-finding commission is designed to get rid of the rhetoric and innuendo and we'll now also speak to Mr. Italiano's statement of his frustration of not getting clearly messages out through the media. That was his frustration. I think uh, the message is clear. Um, things have improved for a couple years. We're, we're, this this issue is going to be off of the table. Um, I certainly, I've been doing a lot of research for the topic of our upcoming meeting on the study committee, and I wanted to uh, get through tonight's vote before I announce what that'll be. But again, um, thank you, Tri-State, for tonight to encouraging this council just to adopt the legislation, and uh, we can certainly uh, welcome all of their input and look forward to it as fact-finding commission. And we need to accept this petition. We need to put these politics in the back pocket right now. Uh, medical quality and saving lives. Um, again, thank you. Next is Council Member Sweeney. Your, your card went up before we pass for now. I'll put you in. Okay. Next is Council Member Swans, 17th District. Yes, Mr. Chair, I'm just going uh, to. First of all, 